All right, you guys, podcast time. We got the equipment and the perfect business plan. Give our show away for free and tell no one how to find it. Ready? Welcome, everybody, to another episode of the Brand X Podcast, episode 63. I'm one of your hosts, John, alongside me, Deuce. Come and stop, bitches. And Joe's back. tally All right. Don't hit that mic. It's no. been it's been a long, <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's been a long day for me. I just, I can't wait to get into everything. But one thing I want to do is, since we sent something to Sean Fuller from the Horribly Awkward Podcast, about his 100th episode, well, his 101st episode, <laughs> Daniel Ripples from the Toe on the Trigger podcast is also getting ready to celebrate 100 episodes. I figured in the front of the show, what we'll do is we'll just do the, you know, congratulations thing, the three of us, and then I can send it to him. Mm-hmm. So we'll have to come up with something. Like, Gee, no pressure. I know. <laughs> So, so, so now let me ask you something. Go ahead. I was here for forty five minutes, and we discussed a lot of shit here. And now, <laughs> this is the one thing. I, I, after I tell you the planning. day, the day that the, this week, the day that everything that happened, I can't wait to tell you. It's imag- amazing that uh, that's not all I forgot. That I'm you're sure. upright. Yeah, exactly. All right, so we'll just start it. Hold on, give me two seconds of silence. <laughs> Can't even do that, can you? <laughs> hey, Daniel, how you doing? It's John from the Brand X Podcast. I'm also here with Deuce and Joe. Also from the Brand X Podcast. And we would like to congratulate you on 100 episodes of the Toe on the Trigger Podcast. That is quite a feat. I mean, you've had a lot to go through. You had to go through co-hosts leaving, coming back, leaving again. Revolving door. Wow. Right? Cassie comes guzzling Cassie or come whatever her name, Cassie. <laughs> She left, and then Courtney came back, and then you have two other co-hosts, and then you Trixie had the revolving co-hosts of the week. And through all that, you soldiered on. So we here at the Brand X Podcast. Salute you. We do salute you. And hope that you go with another 100 episodes. You C- crazy son of a bitch. Congratulations. We salute you. And here's the 100 more. Okay. There we go. <laughs> we got that out of the way. Why don't you go to pour one out for him? No, that's when you die. I don't want oh, okay. to die. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. So I don't know if you follow Daniel on Facebook. Mm-hmm. He is, he has a dark sense of humor like me. I mean, really dark. So he did something. He said, someone blocked me. And I said, well, that's just free speech work. And, you know, you want to post something and they don't want to watch it. So it's just really, it's no big deal. I said, me, I like dark humor. There's nothing you could put up here that would, you know, bother me. And all of a sudden, he's so like, he accepted the challenge. He accepted the challenge. <laughs> yeah. So, not what. See, the thing is, he can't put what he was going to send me on Facebook because he would get. Yeah, you know, they would take him off. Of Facebook. Yeah, they come down on you hard. So he switched to Facebook Messenger. Mm-hmm. Holy mackerel! Some of the stuff he sent me so far. Now, here's the thing: I think it's funny. I, you know, he's like trying to make me squirm, squirm, but it it, it hasn't worked. Like he has one, here's one he sends me. It says, when you ask for a BJ, but she tries to find the usual nonsense excuse, like someone could see us or please stop, grandpa, this is wrong. (laughs) Right. And I said, what is this? The fifties? That car's too new. Our one granddaughter's blowy is another grandmom's night off. Mm -hmm. So I try to, you know, return it. But eh, so we're anyhow, we're doing that back and forth. But he is one sick suck. Well, I don't know how to make you squirm, but we know how to make you wretch. That is true. Mm -hmm. I think he caught me off guard. I wasn't ready for that. Yeah. It was the licking of the fingers. <laughs> and he did it so well. He's like, right oh. over the edge, huh? Yeah, he put his tongue out so slow. Oh, what's this on my hand? Oh, oh, what's, this? Oh, what's this taste like? Uh, and I just, I don't know. It was like just, one of them sexy MTV videos, I wasn't, you know? Just... Yeah, I wasn't ready for it. And it just made me really almost, throw. I mean, when I go back and listen to it, I was, I mean, it made me call. Yeah, but the visual was even better. <laughs> you were white as a sheet. Yeah. It did take the starch all out of me. Birds of, all beads of perspiration <laughs> on your forehead. It was great. <laughs> oh, now you got, you got to hit that. Uh, oh, that's me, I think, right? Yes, that's you. Now, see? Satan himself has popped up and farted in her face. <laughs> 
Well, it would have to happen. It would have to happen, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So one of the things was I was trying to get some stuff done today. And I get a call from my cousin, Mike, who's the Jimmy's brother. It's the Mikey. Mike. It's the Mikey. It's the Mike. So anyhow, Mike calls me and says, hey, can you come back here? I'm having some kind of uh, s red screen of death on my computer. And I, I can't have this day. It's, it's, you know, he has an auto repair business. Mm -hmm. So I go up. I drive back. It takes me like two minutes to get back there. And I walk in and I hear this this audio going saying, you have a virus. Please call this number. Uh, Mike, the, oh, the phishing. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, uh, it's either that or it's the ransomware. Mm -hmm. It was the ransomware. Oh shit. Yeah. Okay. So I go. So I walk in and he's on the he's on the phone. He's like he's pointing at the computer. Look at this. So I look over and I'm like, what the hell? So he says to me, Yeah, I'm on the phone with the guy. I go, What guy? He, I said, This is ransomware. He goes, Yeah, I, I called the number that came up. You did? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I said, Give me the phone. Well, of course. It was a man from another land. Uh. <laughs> so I get on there and I go, hello. Uh, and he, hello. Not the one. <laughs> wrong, wow. Wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> the devil again. <laughs> hello. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, dude, what do we got to do here? How much does this cost? Oh, don't cost anything. What I need you to do is go to the computer. And I'm like, no, no, I'm not doing anything like that. How much does this cost? to do this and he starts well you know i said listen i know exactly what this is this is a scam okay i know what you're doing and you might as well forget it because it's not going to happen all right this is not a scam i'm from microsoft and uh, this yeah. you're on the network and uh, you'll be locked out unless you know i said i understand everything okay you camel humping motherfucker all right i oh, i hope, firm but subtle yeah i hope you fucking die in a fire <laughs> and i hope a llama spits in your mother's face and rapes your sister. All right. So now I'm I'm letting them have it. And my uncle, Big T, he's like, what the fuck's going on here? Right. So I, I lay into this guy. He's like, sir, why are you yelling? I'm like, why am I yelling? Because you infected this computer with a virus. All right. And you're trying to get money out of it. So I said, that's bullshit. So with that, because I didn't know what was going on, mm -hmm. I look up at the computer screen and a text box pops up and it says, hey, and he's trying to say Mike. But he can't spell Mike. It's M I K K I, and he's like trying to spell <laughs> Mikia. Yeah, Mikia, right. right? And I'm like, how did he get on the computer? And, and Mike goes, oh, I gave him access. Oh. I'm like, what? With that, I we die, shut the computer off, right? right? So I go on the phone and I look. I'm trying to search to see what I can do with this. And it says, if you can turn it back on again and get into the startup, you, you can go back. You yeah. can go back, mm -hmm. and if you have a set point, you know where you can go. Yeah. Go back and start the computer. Uh, just, just one caveat for them. Usually when uh, ransomware gets in your computer, the first thing it does is disable your system restore. Oh, exactly what happened because there was no system restore. Right, exactly. So with that, here we go, right? So I shut the computer off. Now I'm in the other room. I'm still there. Mike's in the other room. Next thing I hear Mike, he's talking. The guy called back. The guy's like, oh, I don't know who that was, but uh, he is telling you a big lie. <laughs> And uh, he he probably put the virus on there. And we are from Microsoft, and uh, we will fix this for you. All you have to do is go to your computer. So Mike's like, he's on the phone. He, he puts his, his hand over the phone. He's on the phone again. I said, put him on hold. So I pick up the phone. I go, yeah, what what's what do you want? What do you want me to do? He goes, oh, you're uh, yeah. I, I listen. Whoever that guy was, he probably put the virus on. I got, I know. I, I said I real I barely know him. I, I threw him out of here. What do I need to do? He's like. You'll need to turn the computer. Uh, go turn. Uh, hold on. Wait. Okay. What you need to do is go to, and I go, well, the computer's off. It's off? Well, turn the computer on. I go, I can't. It won't turn back on again. I never tried to turn the computer on. Right. I shut it off. Right. But I know that this guy's going to want me to, to get back on there and give him permission and everything. Yeah, get access. Right. So I'm not doing that. But I know the guy will keep calling back. So I figured, fuck him. Let's have some fun. Mm -hmm. I'll just keep annoying him until he hangs up. So he's like, turn on the computer. I said, uh, it won't start. It won't start up. Well, don't push the button. I said, sir, I've started a lot of computers in my life. I'm pushing the button. But it's not working. <laughs> turn, turn on the computer. I said, I'm trying. It won't turn on. Oh, the power must be out. I said, no, the light's on and the light's plugged into the same power strip. The computer won't come on. I said, Whatever virus this is probably made it where I can't turn the computer on. 
no, 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 it wouldn't do that. I go, uh, oh. Yeah, how would you know? Well, I didn't start with that yet. So then I go, yet. he goes, well, uh, I pushed a button. I said, okay. I said, I'm pushing a button. I let go of the button. Okay. I'm just sitting there. I'm not even moving. I'm just sitting in the chair. He goes, what happened? I go, nothing. It's not coming on. Well, what is, what's your keyboard doing? Sitting on the desk. <laughs> yeah. What, can you, uh. You need to turn the computer on. I go, I'm trying. It won't turn on. What part don't you understand? I said, he's like, you, you have to be able to turn the computer on. I go, it won't turn. The, I said, whatever virus this is, probably just fried the computer and it won't work now. The computer won't even start up. That's not what that does. Uh, and then I went, yeah. How do you know that's not what that does? How do you know? How do you know that's not what that does? You know why? Because you infected this fucking computer and you're a fucking scam artist, you cocksucker. Yeah, and let me tell you pay. something. I said, I am going to turn you into the IRS and I'm also going to deter- turn you in into the uh, Department of uh, Food and Administration. And once they get a hold of you, Buster, you better believe there will be hell to pay on your end. He goes, sir, not yelling at me. I said, oh, no, I know exactly who you are. You're a scammer, and right now I'm recording this, and I'm going to turn this into the Federal Education Association. So you know, now you're just making up. I'm making up shit. You know, right? <laughs> and so he says, I am not a scammer. I am here to help you. If you don't want help, you're not helping me. You're a scammer, and I am going to turn you into the Department of uh, Homeland Security and the Department of Labor. And boy, oh boy, let me tell you, when they, and all of a sudden I hear click, and I'm like, I win, I win. Yeah. Mike, unfortunately, is a sore loser in yeah, this. Well. <laughs> well, what the hell did he click on that he got that? I don't know. Mm. I have no idea. <laughs> so, now, that's not bad enough, but who walks in? It's the Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy, what are you doing? What are you doing? And the one thing that Jimmy loves to do is rub salt into an open wound. Is rub salt into an open room and and wound. Room? <laughs> Those exercises are really doing well. <laughs> now you're making up proverbs and metaphors. <laughs> He's rubbing salt into an open room. Into an open wound. <laughs> and he loves to tell you. What you should have done and how dumb you are for doing what you just did. So he's arm. Uh, he's just armchair uh, quarterback. Right. right. And he's just, you know, you're, we're trying, you know, Mike's upset. He's got a lot of work going on. He doesn't need this. Right. I, I don't know what to do. They're looking at me. It's a windows unit. I haven't had a windows unit in three or four years. Mm-hmm. So I don't know what to do. Right. My uncle, big T's over there. Uh, you better call the bank and the credit cards. <laughs> well, actually, he's pretty smart. Well, I told Michael this, and Michael's like, nah. So I'm like, well, I would call the bank, just in case. Yeah, just yeah. saying. He's like, ah. so anyhow. And then Jimmy's in there, and he's just like, Arr. and I'm like, Jimmy, Jimmy, please, 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 stop, 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 stop. So finally, Jimmy just left. I don't know. He just out. He went. I don't know where he went, but holy cow. So then Michael says, well, can I take it to a guy to see if they can you know, get the files off it. And I said, I'd be afraid of any file that you get off of that mm-hmm. because that same virus could be attached to anything. Yeah. And you could drag it right into your new computer and be right back to the same place. Yeah. Or, Usually goes, those things go right after your um, con- address, contact book. Everything. You know, and then they try to get everyone else that you know. Right. Oh, great. Oh, great. Yeah, well, see, we've got Apple. <laughs> well, that's true, too. Yeah. That is good. true, too. I always, like, every now and then, you'll, 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 I'll be surfing, and then you get that. Attention! It's a, it's almost like a Stephen Hawking voice, but a yes. lot more urgent. Yeah. Okay. Oh, attention! You have been infected by a virus. If you <laughs> do not call, <laughs> the- <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, yeah. Ugh. please call the camel jockey. Right. Yeah. Well, I have countermeasures that I immediately, you know, and it shuts them out. And yeah. So then I say to Mike, "Well, do you have antivirus? And yeah. uncle virus? Anti? Yeah. Like- and uncle virus? Right. And he's like, yeah. And I said, did you? Back it up, or have you renewed like, the renewed subscription or anything? So I look at the antivirus, and it says has not been used in four hundred and something days. I'm like, Ugh. so yeah, he's yeah. That's basically here. He's screwed. Now you're going to Best Buy. Yep, get yourself a new pooter yeah. <laughs> and get an Apple. Well, see, the thing is, some of the stuff that he runs won't run on Apple. Some of the 
Really? There's yeah, some no... of the software that he runs for his business won't run on Mac. You it's know? a Windows world. I'm, I'm glad I'm not part of it. I'm so glad I'm out of that. Mm-hmm. I'm so glad I'm out of that. That just it just feels like if you went to Bangkok and you're walking down the street. Why do you want to do Bangkok? Why do you sit the Bangkok? Uh, it just it just feels like it's like dirty, filthy Windows <laughs> shit. Yeah. Well. <laughs> viruses and scammers trying to, you know, attack you for your money. <laughs> Alibaba's. Yeah. I, I feel bad for him. I don't, I didn't get a chance to talk to him because I finally got out of there, but I'll tell you going back there when the Jimmy, him, my uncle, oh. it's a sideshow. It could be a sitcom. It could be a comedy. Mm-hmm. It's ridiculous. How, how and crazy. Jimmy goes in, rolls, a, pulls the pin out of a grenade, <laughs> rolls it in <laughs> there and then walks, walks out. out. No, he doesn't want to walk out. He wants to watch the carnage. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You know, he, that's, he doesn't want to do that. So after editing this podcast for as many, for coming 62 episodes so far, going on 63 episodes today. Split window episode. One thing that I know is that I have a fat, lazy Jersey tongue mm-hmm. and I've about had it. So I- are cutting it out. I fi- no. <laughs> The downloads in Arkansas go through the roof. So (laughs) I decided to try and diction exercises. Okay. So there's a place called writeoutloud.com and slash diction exercises. And what they do is they say that you should do these exercises, which are tongue twisters. Mm Mm-hmm. And if you keep doing them, you will train your fat, lazy South Jersey tongue. Specifically targeting you, it said that. It said, yes. <laughs> your fat, lazy <laughs> South Jersey tongue. It says, start slowly. So they, so they listen to this podcast and say, hey, yes. we, know we, we got a guy we got to get a hold of. Hello, John, we have a website for you. It's for your fat, lazy Jersey tongue. Uh so anyhow, they do work those things. I I'm so I started yesterday mm-hmm. trying to train my tongue. So far, I've said room instead of whatever I was supposed uh, to room. Yeah, room, like the room instead of wound. Like, Pe- like, like Peter, Peter Sellers and the Pink I let you get a room. <laughs> you must have a la sense for the minky to collect the money. What? You must have a la sense. <laughs> <laughs> so anyhow, so. Exactly. So some of these, it goes for, you know, for the B sound, the D sound, the H sound. How, will it teach you how to pronounce Lorne? <laughs> Lorne. Well, I can say I've been practicing Lauren. All right. So I could say Lauren and Lorne, I don't know. I don't know if that's right or not yet. But if I Can get, you say boar? Boar. Can you say born? Born. Rhyme it. Lauren. There you go. There we go. So, All you need is Deuce to come over and I'll save you the fucking money. It's free. So I was working on the L words and I couldn't do it. It's the, <laughs> so the one is it's literally, 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 and then literary, liter, fucker, literacy, liter, liter, like literacy, but it's L I T E R A Y. L I T E R A R Y. Literary. Literary. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's liter- literally, literally and literary. literary. Yeah. And literary. Larry sent the latter a letter later. And Lucy lingered longing. All right, let me try that one. <laughs> Lucy lingered longing. Fuck. Yeah, one more time. Exactly. <laughs> Lucy lingered looking longingly for her lost lap dog. So I've been working on this, trying to see if I could fix my crazy fat. Lazy Jersey tongue. So we'll see if it gets any better or not. Yeah, it's not going to happen overnight. Oh, no. Don't get like, you know, <laughs> oh, this sucks. Fuck it. You know, so, after like two days, <laughs> it takes pretty, a while to work at it. Pretty soon my tongue will be all buff and cut. You'll sound like Fraser Crane. <laughs> 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 well, I didn't know that Kelsey Grammer was doing the Brand X podcast. <laughs> Why, yes, as you know, Deuce. Yeah. <laughs> I will have a. Uh, you know, I'll have like a British accent. <laughs> so now you're Piers Morgan. Morgan, that's yeah, you got me infected with it. It's infected. Shit, I gave him the virus. Came right through the mic. The fat Jersey tongue virus. Say that one more time. 
It's exactly. Piers Morgan. Hmm. Uh, I want to talk about some feedback from last week. We talked about what happens when, you know, you shove a shotgun up a hoo-ha and it goes off mm -hmm. and then you get a, you get sentenced. Yeah. We didn't know what a custodial sentence was. Yeah. Well, Stephen Bull on Twitter said a custodial sentence is just a posh way of saying sent to jail. Uh, oh. So, I thought they hand you a mop and some scrubbing brushes and, and send you basically over here he says anyone who injures someone else with a firearm goes to prison. I think the line I found it in a pub didn't help. Yeah. He found the shotgun in a pub. Yeah, in the toilet. Yeah, it's like Oh, uh -huh. a shotgun. Oh. <laughs> right. Also, Maya Brooker at Maya Brooker on Twitter. Mm -hmm. I've been trying to coax her in. You know, she's a big fan of the brand X, not the brand, the bad cop, bad, bad, cop, cop. bad cop. Right. And also Ped and Meller. And I'm like, what about us? And she goes, ah, I'm still on the fence with you guys. Mm -hmm. So she says, she put this out. Watch your fat, lazy tongue. It's my fat, lazy Jersey tongue. That's probably what it is. You know, she has proper English and she listens to me, mm -hmm. you know. Butcher, butcher the language. Butcher the That's language it. and it probably pisses her off. She just can't handle it because she's a proper lady. So she tweeted out, on a train, which means catch up on podcast. Good show with Techno Boy at Brand X Podcast. Very good. Almost hooked. <laughs> Almost hooked. Almost hooked. And I'm like, Damn. oh, you tease. You tease. Now, which Techno Bully? Me. No, I mean, which episode? Well, she's calling me Techno Bully. Uh, I've seen everybody I, I, I calls me. I thought it was me. a specific episode no. for starring well, Techno Bully. We have to, start use, have to stop using Techno Bully in the title of everything, like Techno Bully Rocks Out, Techno Bully <laughs> Jihad. <laughs> I like the Techno, techno Bully Jihad. Yeah, yeah, that was great. <laughs> That's my favorite <laughs> illustration. <laughs> no, it is. I get that. But what happens is if you go to Google. We can't just call you TV. They'll think it's tuberculosis. Right. So. <laughs> So if you go to Google and you put type in techno bull and you go to the you go to the images, I'm plastered all over there. <laughs> it's crazy. I was, I was like, man, I don't know if I want. I don't. Nah, do I, you what do I do it. now? You love it. You, I don't know. You attention who are you? No, no I, he's all I'm proud. Little, I'm a little nervous about this. And that's our goal: techno bully across the web. You know. <sighs> Yeah, have, I'm, I'm famous. Have you binged yourself? I mean, we we know you're on Google. Uh, well, I'm sure if I'm on Google, I'm on Bing. What is Bing? Does anybody it's use the Bing? Microsoft I, I, version? I prefer Bing, actually. Of course you do. The only thing I like Google for is the maps. Okay. So you know, Bing don't have fine. maps? What's that? Bing don't have maps? Yeah, but they're not as good as Google's. Okay. Mm. Also, last week, when I started talking about- Banging donkeys? No. <laughs> no, not that. <laughs> Don't get it. Don't get ahead of me. <laughs> when I start talking about women and how you know she's a Jersey Six, oh, uh, the regionality hotness right. scale, which was right. totally irrelevant, right? So then I'm listening to um, everybody has a podcast with Adam and Brian, mm -hmm. and uh, I get this. Oh, this guy is so sweet. He doesn't care that she's fat, and she, that the, the like I said, the worst part of it, she really wasn't. Like she was like. I don't know. She was like a, 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 a flyover state eight. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, a flyover state should be an eight. I mean, she's not. She's not. She's not like an LA six. See, and, and, I, and I hate. Well, just because they're women. as misguided as you are. Well, I'm just saying, that. it's not just me. I mean, you're just looking for confirmation bias. Well, Jerry agrees with you, Jerry from Bad Cop Bad Cop. He's, he tweeted out that means it's we either, win. It need it's either <laughs> hot or not. Degrees doesn't. De degree don't come let me read this say again that yeah. say that one more time jerry from <laughs> bad cop bad cop says they're either hot or not degrees don't come into play based on location right also, i have to go with that also i asked permission to use that like i just said to adam i said hey um let me just do something real quick i gotta find it here if I can find As John <laughs> furiously searches his computer uh, for the know, that he wanted again, to do. Again, if I, you know, if I was ready to do all this. It's all right. We got Phil for you. <laughs> I appreciate that. Excellent. Meanwhile. <laughs> Meanwhile. Oh, here it is. Back at the cabin. So Tonto our, disguised as a toilet is taking so, it all in. <laughs> so friend of the show, Emily Prokop. Hello, Emily. She says, when I said, hey, listen, Adam, can I pull a clip from your episode where you refer to the rating system of a woman? I need it for tonight. And he says, absolutely, any time. Emily says, I thought about that when I heard it. How does Deuce does not know California 4 equals Jersey 7? Again. Confirmation bias. Just saying. It's, you know, there's 
there is precedent. I've for this. I've heard it. I just I just dismiss it. You I dismiss think it. I think it's a fallacious uh, okay. point of view. And then, you're you're either hot or you're not. Well, I understand. And individuality. I mean, some guy. It's like some people. Uh, some guys like blondes. Some guys like brunettes. So, so that can skew the scale. It's what appeals to you. That's true. So if you see some corn husker and you think she's a 10, she's a 10. If you go into California and you see some tits on a there, stick, <laughs> right? Or you see someone in New York City with the thigh high boots and the fishnet stockings and the, not that I, well, I digress, uh, but you know, then go on. Right. That's going to be a 10 to you. It's just, uh, it's, right. it's what appeals to you. There's no hard and fast scale. I think regionality is a totally uh, preposterous. David Miranda, the producer of the Unwritable Rant podcast, he also jumped in here and said, wait, we can rape women and not get a frying pan to the head? I need this mythical knowledge. That. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that David. Brian says, what, no love for a redhead or a shaved-headed woman? Shaved? What, who? Skinhead O'Connor. I mean, yes, Sinead so, O'Connor. Shaved-headed woman. I mean, I, I mean, let me tell you something. Actually, I did he did s- say redhead, so he must know something about you. I'll just, yeah, I do like, oh, I've had a fancy for a redhead once in, <laughs> once in my life. Uh, so, but the thing about a, a bald woman is she has to really have a pretty face. Well, what makes yeah. it, if they're bald and to pull it off, they have to have a very long, graceful neck. Ah. Uh, I don't know. Think about Persis Combat in the first Star Trek movie. Mm. Who? What? Purses. You two know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. You know, Star Trek, the motion picture that came out in 1979, which rebooted the franchise after not <laughs> being on the air. <laughs> she, okay. she was a Miss India in the uh, Miss US, uh, Miss World beauty pageant. Right. And uh, I think she may have won. I'm not sure. But she was a contestant. Yeah. And she shaved her head for the role. Very sexy. Okay. Yeah, now, nice. don't they, over in India, don't they put those rings around your neck and they keep... No, going, oh, that's, well, that's, that's in Africa. Africa somewhere. <laughs> India. Well, they stretch the you neck. You know the history. Yeah, they do. I don't, yeah. You're right. I don't know. No, no. That's some... Don't they put plates in their lips? I'm sorry. That's not in India either. That's also in Africa. <laughs> Just, no, they do yeah. something in it. Yeah, they look like ducks. You ever see that? Sure. Yeah. That was just, ooh, Daffy man, duck. That's crazy. They're like gauges almost. Like the, the dudes that put that shit in their ear earlobes <sighs> now. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. The, Dude, I don't... What? So you can drive a bolt and socket through it? I don't get that, you know, for men and for women. Look at me. That's what it's all about. Well, I'll tell you, well, go I'm going to make you uncomfortable. I remember uh, when I was at the gym, they don't let you have that kind of stuff, you know, in the gym. No, or, it's dangerous. Yeah. Right. So they, the girls, like, they'll take it out and they'll be in the gym and everything. And it's just like flappy, f- like things of skin. I'm like, oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. I mean, the stuff that people do to mutilate themselves. Uh, you had something? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, Joe. I, I oh, no, no, no. Uh, what was I thinking of? Oh, short-haired women. Like, really short-haired. Like, uh, you know, there, there's some women that can put, pull that pull off. Pull that off. I like short I hair. think the short-haired look, I remember, in my I, opinion, they need to have high cheekbones. Well, yeah. Well, I was just going to... Um, like a Swedish kind of... I was of just a, going to uh, uh, note Charlize Theron when she had that short hairstyle. She looked great. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was kind of bush looking, but it was like... Yeah, it yeah, works she, her, yeah she has the high cheekbones. Yeah, right, right, and like uh, someone like a round face beauty. But if you get really... like a if you get like a Susan Powder kind of thing, oh, you know, so no. you get, put some hair on that. Uh, I'm trying to think of some. I'll tell you who pulled off the short hair look that I really liked was. I could see her face, and I can think of her name now. That helps. Bruce us. Willis. Oh, her, Demi Moore. Demi Moore. Demi. That, it, she it, pronounces it Demi. Really, she gets angry if people say Demi. Really? Yeah, so wrap your fat jersey tongue around Demi. Well, I don't know. They've been saying Demi Moore now for 20-something years. And, and she gets constipated every time she hears it. Oh, okay. Jason's Demi, taking off. Demi Moore. Yeah, Jason Bryant is... Uh, he That guy flies all over the country doing wrestling, announcing wrestling uh, wow. stuff. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. He has been he was over in Finland and you know, just jet-setting the world, around the world, doing what he loves. <laughs> you know? That's pretty awesome. Announcing wrestling, knows... Wrestling. But anyway, kind of Demi Moore. Yeah, anyhow, Demi Moore. Oh, shiny. Yeah, she's very attractive. I'm trying to think of some other women that can pull it off uh, with the short haircut. I didn't I didn't go for her with that. I, I think uh, Demi Moore looked best in uh, A Few Good Men when she had that Denise hairstyle. Crosby in Lieutenant uh, Lieutenant Yara and Star yeah, Trek yeah, The Next exactly. Generation. Yeah, she did, she did well with short hair. Do you notice any women besides <laughs> Star Trek movie? 
Uh, that was a you know, TV show. I think Bridget oh, Nielsen. When show. I think Bridget Nielsen, when she had to, you know. Oh yeah, when she was younger, back yeah, in the well, rock. Yeah, when she was younger. I well, took Carrie Ann younger. Moss also in the Matrix. Trinity. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. There you go. There's a good there short you hair go. woman. Again, That's it. high cheekbones. I got you. I got you. Ah, oh, Jason's on his way to Paris, and not Hilton. <laughs> <laughs> Aha! Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> the American everyone. coming off the plane. The Americans, they have very nice eyes. I love their eyes. <laughs> Would you like a rim? A rim. A rim. With that, a vim. That's your dog bite? No. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said your dog don't bite. That is not my dog. That's not my dog. <laughs> <laughs> Doing Pink Panther lines. <laughs> yeah, we're not too old. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Oh, my God. That- well, that's one of the great things about... There's me and a couple guys in our office you know, my age, and the kids, it just goes right, right over yeah, there. We no got idea. that on them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you do something like that, and they're like, <laughs> oh, yeah. right over their head. <laughs> and for me, I just think it's, uh, you know, when the kids do that now for stuff, like they're, they're watching new movies or something, and I'm like, what are you talking about? And they're like, oh, dad. And I'm like, what? And they're like, you know, did you see this movie? And I'm like, Nope. Let me ask you a question. All the young guys that you work with and you do that, their 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 big comeback, their repose is going to be, yeah, well, the world wasn't in black and white when I was born. That seems to be like the standard joke that they wrote for millennials. That's really? like their yeah, that's like their big Ooh, I burned you, you old man. Well then I get them again. Like, I put something else over that. You never lived in the house of Genghis. Yeah. Why? They, 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 well, of course. And then yeah. they they look at you with that dog. That just heard a the funny dog noise. whistle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tilt the head. <laughs> right over your head. Uh, but anyhow. Anywho. Back to the sh- back to the show. So what else went wrong for you this week? I, you know what? I don't think there was anything else that went wrong, but I like I said, I just was trying to better myself mm-hmm. as far as Well, it's very commendable. You know, since we're gonna do this podcast and I do a lot of the talking. That I thought that it would be. Oh, by the way, do you know what the num what uh, is significant about the number? And I'm, I'm, I think it's the number thirty six. Nope. What's significant about it? Yeah, the last podcast. That's how many times you said to be honest in all honesty and to be real honest. <laughs> in the last really? podcast, wow. I, re- I re-listened to the podcast this morning at like I so I may have missed a couple, and every time you said it. I got a pen and I made a dash mark on a piece of paper. Thirty six so in think, one episode. In, in the last episode, the last one, and, and on a couple of occasions, you use it like twice in a sentence <laughs> or twice <laughs> in an idea. You know what? I have to say, it's very hard to look at Facebook, look at the next story, look at you guys, look at the mm-hmm. the uh, board here for the soundboards and stuff like that. And what happens is I lock up, mm-hmm. and then you'll start saying something. It's and filler. I, it's filler. Mm-hmm. Is exactly what it is. Right. So, I mean, I, I mean, we all have a crutch phrase or word that mm-hmm. we fall back on, but right. that's yours. And with a, if we did ever have that drinking game, oh. we, we'd be loading your ass into an ambulance and oh. taking it. Maybe <laughs> 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 be pumping, pumping my stomach. <laughs> you and Rod Stewart clearing, you know, <laughs> the, the paddles clear. <laughs> 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 And I think, and I listened to it at one and a half times, so I think I may even miss some. So you're doing that now? You're listening to it? Well, at one because and a half? it was oh. like so obvious. Oh, okay. I, no, I did it. I was I listened to it at normal speed, right? But I wanted to see how many, to be honest, <laughs> there were. <laughs> <laughs> so I needed to pick up the pace a little bit. I got you. Uh, hey, so- oh, also, I, we have a, a one of my coworkers mm. uh, has taken up listening to the show. And she's doing it. She? Yeah, she's doing it from the beginning. So she's up to episode 10 now. Oh, Which, wow. to like jog your memory, that's the Sweet 16 episode. Oh, where well, we start picking the girls. Right. Well, we okay. had we started off with 32. 32, and then it got and what does she? And what does she say about our picks? Well, she was listening to it today. De- she didn't, I don't think she got to the uh, the final four yet. Right. So, But she was, uh, she was listening to it today. She texted me, and her son... Said that you sound like Lightning McQueen from the uh, the Who, Cars movie from Pixar. She's letting her son listen to this. How old's her son? Oh, I don't know. I know how old he is, <laughs> but I don't. Know. I mean, is he old enough to listen? He's old enough to understand what bad words are. <laughs> I guess. Well, she should be letting her son 
Listen to this. Oh, that's another product, another download. <laughs> I understand that, but this isn't suitable for children. I say cunt. Well, and... you, didn't, you didn't say that back Joe, then. Joe, Joe just flinched again. <laughs> yeah, like I say bad words. Yeah. Well, anyway, you sound like Lightning McQueen, according Who to... Who does the voice of Lightning McQueen? Uh, I think Paul it's... Newman. He's dead. He can't do the voice of Lightning McQueen anymore. Well, then the first car, he, he was did. alive yeah. then. Yeah. yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Paul Newman Paul did Newman Lightning, Lightning McQueen. McQueen. Hold on, let me go to Google. But you don't sound like Paul Newman. Yeah, but Lightning McQueen, not Paul Newman. Paul Newman was playing the part of Lightning McQueen. Voice yeah, of but, Lightning McQueen in Cars. Hold on. Yeah, but you could tell it's Paul Newman. If you listen, if you Owen watch Wilson. the movie. Owen Wilson. Oh, Owen Wilson. Oh, that's okay. Who, that's who, is, who okay. does the voice of Cars. What did Paul, oh, he did the. Uh, Paul Newman did a. Uh, oh, uh, uh, he did the, the tow old, truck. No. Uh, no, the, tow uh, truck. the old race car. Yeah. yeah what what right. the hell was it? Um, I never saw the movie. Which is unusual because I love Pixar movies. Hudson Hornet, was Hudson, it? Hudson Hudson something, yeah. Hudson something or other. Hudson yeah. Hornet was the uh, what was a car? That was the it was old a car, car, but it, yeah, he did Hudson something or other. Right, the uh, tow truck was uh, what's his name? The Larry the Cable Guy. Oh, okay. Get it in. You have to go watch that movie now just to see. <laughs> see, Brian's all night, man. He Hudson Hornet. That's Hudson the name Hornet. Of it. Yeah, I was no. right. There you go. There you go. Right. I never saw it. The oh. Cars movies. Yeah. They're, they're really good. Yeah, I like Pixar movies. Yeah, they're. Did you ever see the one Up? I've never seen that yet. Oh, it's great. I got to. Well, see Well, what that. I did is like nah. the first ten minutes of it, I made Diane watch it, and anyone that's seen the Up movie knows what happens in the first ten minutes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and Diane was bawling her eyes out. Now I have She's to go like, watch. She was it. all mad at me for making her watch. Oh, you have to watch this. This is really cool. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I never saw this one. So she's sitting there watching it. <laughs> is that, is that, that's the pissed off old man. Ed Asner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Ed, uh, yeah that's that right. one. Did you ever see it? Uh, no. Oh, I'll, I'll have to watch I, it. I yeah, now you got to see the first 10 minutes and you'll know what I'm talking about. The show, I usually look for a show that's, you know, been around for a while, a couple mm-hmm. seasons. Like Mad Men? Yes. And I try <laughs> watching it, see if I like it or not. Actually, you should go back, but go ahead. Finish All right. Your I will go back and start again. I will go back and try. I will go back and try. I just started watching Orphan Black, mm-hmm. which I just did the first episode the other day, and I was like, "Wow, I'm, I think I'm hooked on this one." Mm-hmm. Only because the the lead in this one is like I'm looking for the word. <laughs> I think you're having a seizure over there. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what was that? I locked up. <laughs> he couldn't say it to be locked- all honest. <laughs> to be totally honest, he couldn't say it. I locked up. You know what? The just say it to be totally honest. Don't have a seizure on us. <laughs> to be totally honest, <laughs> I like the lead characters. I mean, I th- she's crazy hot. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? She's hot. And she's like crazy on the show. The character's mm-hmm. crazy. Yeah, I get it. But I also tried to watch Jessica Jones mm-hmm. and she's crazy hot, but she's a filthy clam. <laughs> so I, you know, Whoa. I don't like wow. now, filthy is she, clam. Is she a California filthy clam aid or is she? <laughs> a- <laughs> she's an Atlantic City filthy clam. Oh, that's filthy. That's filthy. <laughs> oh, wow. Like Jessica Jones, the character, not the yeah. actress. You must just check yourself into the morgue if you're that Atlantic City filthy <laughs> clam. <laughs> the, yeah, she's just like a filthy. <laughs> filthy. But dirty again, clam. I'm with the orphan black and my friend Mark the Coat, he also does a podcast about. Orphan Black. So, let <laughs> say he does a podcast about, about filthy, filthy clans. Clans. He doesn't do a podcast about <laughs> filthy clams. What's wrong with you? <laughs> the filthy clam podcast. He does a pod- filthy clam podcast. <laughs> I've lost control again. <laughs> he's lo- he better he's rain us in. He does a podcast about the Orphan Black show. Mm-hmm. I don't know what it is, but I got to look it up. Okay, because what I want to do is I want to watch an episode, then listen to the podcast. And watch an episode and listen to the podcast. So it's going to be kind of cool to go through this because I've really never got a chance to listen to Mark podcast. He does the Resourceful Designer podcast, which is all about the design business, mm-hmm. you know, graphic designs and everything, which is not my thing. But I'm interested in like listening to his podcast about this. So it should be fun to do. Yeah, getting back to what I was talking about, um, filthy clams. No. We can get back. We can, re- we can revisit that. Okay. <laughs> um, we were talking about, um, I had referenced Mad Men before. Yes. Uh, did you watch Breaking Bad? There's another one I started to watch I can't, okay. I can't get through. Um, the thing with, see, Breaking Bad, I can understand why that grabbed people faster than Mad Men did, because there was a lot of action in it. 
as far as um, anything involved with the drug underworld, obviously there's going to be murder right. and things like that. With Mad Men, you, did you get through the entire first season? I, I, you know what? I don't. It's been a while, but I don't remember. See, the thing with Mad Men, that show is so nuanced. It, there's not action like gunfights or murders, obviously, mm-hmm. but um, it ran for seven seasons, and there's people that come back. You know, just like in real life, people come back into your life, right? And things that you did before, and it's it's a very very nuanced show. Well, it has. A, I mean, the reason I started watching it was because of the redhead in that, mm-hmm. Christina <laughs> Hendricks. Mm-hmm. I yeah. love her, man. Ooh. And then Don Draper's wife, she was a hottie too. January Jones. Okay. Yes, and even the the blonde uh, new secretary that came in. And yeah, was they're getting, all they're all hot. Yeah, they're all hot. Stephanie Drake. If you say so. At the so. end of the season? Well, I don't know. She was. She came in. I think she was the first one. She came in the first day. I think it was the first episode. Oh, that's Elizabeth Moss. She's in The Handmaiden now. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I did try to watch it. You know what show that really did grab me, and I, I finally got a chance to watch it all the way through, was Dexter. Mm-hmm. Dexter was a cool show to watch from season one all the way. And what I did was I got, I started watching it right before the last season. Mm-hmm. And I just binge watched and binge watched that show. And I think I did all seven seasons in a month, which is, I mean, I was watching like four a day. It was crazy. I was losing <laughs> sleep. I, I was yeah. like, binge watching right. is awesome. So. The, the episode would be over and I'm like, I got to see what happens. Yeah, yeah. I can't hooked. sleep now. Well, sometimes I, I actually look forward to catching a cold just so I can binge watch. Just lie down and binge watch because yeah. that's the only time I'll be able oh, to do Oh, thank it. God. I got the diverticulitis. Oh, I got the flu. Yeah. <laughs> I got the diverticulitis. Well, that's, yeah, I, that's I what I did. Yeah. There was nothing else to do. How are your guts? They're doing good. They're yeah. doing good. I mean, I, I managed to do as much of the podcast at home as I could, mm-hmm. as you saw, but, uh, you know. Oh, yeah. Jerry reamed you for not coming. He's like, if you're good enough, <laughs> if you're well <laughs> yeah, enough to be yeah, on I Facebook, <laughs> you're well I enough to get in there and get on the mic. Yeah, I saw him. Cutting to the chase. Yeah. Right. <laughs> he didn't realize I was dying as I was doing all that. Now I hesitate to bring this up, but like I have every season of Man Man on DVD and you I can't do anything with it. <laughs> Why? Why am I getting the techno bowl? Because you I don't have a DVR. <laughs> right, exactly. I just... Right. I, I, look, I got this. <laughs> this is called The Messengers. It's a uh, documentary about podcasting. Mm-hmm. And, you know, my friend You're Jess, in that, aren't you? No, oh, oh, Jess is in it, yeah. Jess is in it, and, like, a bunch of my friends are in it, and I can't watch it. You know, you can get a DVD player for, like, 50 bucks. Right. You're right. You, I can. I am so happy. You don't I watch go... movies at all or nothing? No, I watch stuff all the time. No, but I mean, you don't watch... You know, there's, like... Yeah. Like a movie that you would really like that you would just watch. Over I'm going to go over watch over up. again. I'm going to go. Oh yeah, there sure there is. There's tons of movies that I love to watch over and over again. Okay, I got it. I love I Blazing it. Saddles. I love uh, right. <laughs> Mean Girls. I, uh, I'm trying to think what other ones. I, uh, Full Metal Jacket. I, as soon as I see that, uh, yeah. A Few Good Men. Mm-hmm. As soon as I, I see that, if I'm watching TV and that's on, I have to sit down. Well, that's like yeah, Jaws do you have, and do you, do you, See, I have a vast movie collection. DVDs, Blu-rays. Gotta okay. have them. You know? So, oh, no, you don't have to have that. You just go on Netflix. Apple. Yeah, I hate I like people that. to say you don't have to have that. Yeah. I, I mean, if, have you, if you want to have it, have it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I just find that, you know, for me, I lose shit or things break or, you know, whatever. And the thing is now that with the technology, I pay for Hulu, uh, Amazon Video and also uh, Netflix, so basically I can watch anything on. Oh, and now I love YouTube TV. YouTube TV is thirty five dollars. Okay, if you get the if you have a TV that's equipped where you can put in the yeah yeah I got uh, it Chromecast mm-hmm. thing in the back of your TV, mm-hmm. you can watch it right right from your phone. It is the best. It's thirty five dollars. You have a bunch of channels to watch. I can watch it on my phone. I can watch it on my iPad. I can watch it on the computer. $35 like $35 a month. Hours a month. Okay. Nothing else. Oh, and you can DVR stuff or rec- you can mm-hmm. record stuff and watch it later. Unlimited shows. Unlimited. Like you can't fill it up. Now, really? suppose there's like channel like 41, which has like The Walking Dead. Is that on there? Well, channel 41 is not. It AMC. AMC. I think AMC is on there. Okay. But okay. it's, but again, you don't. It doesn't have every channel like cable does. That's what I'm. That's but the what I'm thing wondering. about it is, how many channels do you watch? Like here, AMC. I get, okay, I get, <laughs> I get NBC, ABC, CBS, 
Okay, I get the channels for the sports, like the Phillies games and do, everything for around here. Do you get 72 Spanish channels that you'll never watch, Not, just like Comcast get, gives you? Yeah. yeah I get right. one Spanish channel, Telemundo, and that's it. Mm-hmm. And for $35. It's amazing. So between that, Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon, what, why do I need anything else? It's, the, it's fantastic. It's, what I more can you ask? Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Gene Hackman, like yeah, Sleuther, nineteen seventy eight, Superman. Uh, you guys are speaking French again. See, <laughs> I, I, was afraid, I was afraid of putting you two together because <laughs> you do that. When I first started hanging around these guys, they had this whole other language where they would start saying things, and then they would know exactly what they were talking about. And I didn't grow up with them, so I didn't know what they were talking about. So I deemed it speaking French. Mm-hmm. Because I had no idea what was going on. So you two get in here and speak French all the time. <laughs> so me and the audience are like, what the hell is he talking about? Yeah. We, we. Well, if Don was here, he'd be in on it. Of course. But Don's not here. Don speaks French. Don speaks French. He does. Well, somewhat. Yes. Yeah, Don speaks French. Right. That's why it was Brand X and John Buchanan <laughs> for the longest time. <laughs> then you went and stole the name and everyone thinks it's all you. <laughs> Show those fucking guys. Yeah, originally. <laughs> I'll fix them. Brand X and John Buchanan is my ass. <laughs> now it's Brand X with John Buchanan. <laughs> All right. Why don't we do this? We're going to take a break, go to the Hush Your Face promo, mm-hmm. and I want to dedicate this Hush Your Face promo Tonight. to my good friends, Doug and Anthony from the right. Who's Right podcast. Because John Dedicate. They love... This promo. Hush your face is coming straight to your ears. A podcast network that's changing gears. Bringing fresh funky pods with a fresh funky beat. A family of pods that are bringing the heat. There ain't no stopping us. Keep coming back to us. Sick ass pods that'll make you hush. WWW. Hush your face. WWW. Hush your face. WWW. Hush your face. Dot com. Paris Hilton thinks she would have been a social figure just like Princess Diana if it wasn't for that sex tape. You think? I I don't... Well, see, okay, first of all, I don't know about you, but I kind of always had the hots for Paris Hilton. I think she's a California nine and a half. (laughs) Anyhow. I think she's a Jersey, too. Don't say we're back. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, God, Let's go with the story, John. Uh, you know what? Do it. And I'll start all over again. Go ahead. I don't know what you mean. Say, and we're back. Why would I do that? W- why would you do it in the middle of the story? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, John. I, I, you had him on a roll here. And I said, you know, I want to hear what he says about Paris Hilton. You know, I get you rolling. think she's hot? No, I get rolling. She's and the hot. next thing you know. <laughs> <laughs> and Brian Tool Jr. is in the chat room. He always hangs with us. Hey, he's Brian, absolutely, he's absolutely right. She's as dumb as a brick. Her and Kim only made mainstream because of the sex tapes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, absolutely I, again, correct. I, see, here's the thing. I don't know if that's this. I can't say that about well, Paris Hilton. I think it was a little bit more than that because she was the heiress to the Hilton, Hilton fortune. Exactly. Yeah. Kim Kardashian was just some you know, whore. Some whore from you right. know her father. You know, got OJ off. No, actually, that he... <laughs> How do you mean? <laughs> oh, just like that. Well, just he, like was, that. he was just there like in the that. beginning, but then he bailed out. And then they bought an F.U. Bailey and, uh, mm-hmm. you know. So anyhow. It was, who were all that? It was uh, F. Lee Bailey, Shapiro, Johnny, uh, Johnny Cochran, Cochran, and there was Cochran. another one. Barry Shack. Barry Shack. Or Barry as my Shack. mom used to call him, Shep, Pussy Barry Face. Shep. Pussy <laughs> Face. Yeah. Well, she called him Shep a few times. Mm-hmm. And Genghis, ah, Shep. Oh. But then he got on her nerve. He, he got on my mother's nerves, so my mother started referring to him as Pussy, pussy Face. face. Yeah. <laughs> he looks like a real pussy. Whoa. <laughs> Jeez, Mom. Yeah. Yeah. And I got the sheet up, shit beat out of me for saying cunt. That's not fair. Well, that's different than saying Pussy Face. <laughs> You, when you say the C word, you hit rock bottom. You have nowhere else to go. Can I start the story over again? Yeah, yeah go let's ahead. start. Do you want to say, and we're back? No, not at all. Okay. Paris Hinton. 
story now. You're really fucking <laughs> right out of the fucking gate. Now I gotta leave all this in. I gotta leave all this in. Okay, I try again. I, I hate you guys. <laughs> Paris Hilton thinks she would have been a social figure like Princess Diana if it wasn't for the sex tapes. In recent interview with Marie Claire, socialite Paris Hilton blames her 2003 sex tape with boyfriend, well, ex-boyfriend now, Rick Solomon, for ruining her chances to become prominent, a social figure like Princess Diana. It's really hurtful because my whole life I really looked up to Princess Diana, all these elegant, amazing women, and I feel like Solomon just took that away from me. She couldn't say no? She didn't see him holding the video camera? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they weren't exactly all that small back in 2003. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Coming with a, a boom mic. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> no, back in 2003, the, the camera was the size of a suitcase. <laughs> it's not like he just set it up in the corner, you know, or used his phone. Threw a towel over it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about that lump. Have you seen the tape? Uh, a long, long time ago when it was yeah, out. When it was relevant. Well, right. that's a long time ago. Now yeah. Well, when man, you think about it, yeah, that's quite a while. Gotta admit, not, she she knows what she's doing. She did, and she was only eighteen years old at the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and he was thirty three. I mean, he, she, I didn't I didn't realize he was that much older than him. Oh yeah, he was thirty three years old. You know, he's a he's a big professional poker player, mm-hmm. Rick Solomon, and he did poker. Yeah, it's like a, <laughs> she was like a bar, mm-hmm. liquor in the front, poker in the rear. So weeks before the debut of her show, Simple Life, in 2003, the sex tape, which featured an 18-year-old Hilton and 33-year-old Solomon, hit the internet without her consent and overshadowed much of her rise to fame. It hasn't hurt her one little bit. She makes she bank. got a TV show out of that. That, well, it was, that Simple Life? What was that? Simple no, that, Life? That came out. Part with some, Nicole Richie? Yeah, but that was already out. That was coming out. So then this se- sex tape came out during that. But like right now, you realize that she is one of the highest paid DJs. She's like she, a DJ? Oh, yeah. She goes to a club and they pay her like $100,000 to DJ for the night. Oh, it's only because it's her. She has no talent. Well, how much talent do you need to play a song? Well, it's not that you're just playing. I don't know what kind of dish jockey. You were a dish jockey. You used to get out on the floor and teach people to dance and do the thing. You would interact. Okay. That's what dish jockeys do. But she just stands up in this big giant towel. You see it now where yeah. they have that stupid mouse head they put on now and the lights yeah. and all that shit's flashing and everything. And the boots, boots, boots. How do you say it? How do you do it? <clears throat> Joe does it better. <laughs> no, but it's for techno. You always do. You go boots and something. Oh, oh techno. Boots oh, and pants. Yeah. Boots and pants. Boots and pants and boots and pants. Yeah, yeah. Boots and pants. Exactly. And boots That's and what pants. she does. Boots and pants. Well, you got to do that, but then after so many measures, you go. Boots and pants and boots and pants and boots and pants and boots and pants. And that's all techno is. Exactly. That is exactly. That's not industrial, though, is it? No. Uh oh. Somewhere the bitter Asian man's ears da, are da, hurting. Da, 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 da. <laughs> John is fervently looking uh, for it. Uh, I think I might have got rid of it. You might have lost it when your computer oh, went down. Oh, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> no more industrial music. No more uh, industrial boy. music. Piss me off. But it's basically the Looney Tunes. <laughs> exactly. Oh, by the way, I, just, just a guy in here real quick. Uh, my friend Glenn asks, do we stream outside of Facebook? No. And the reason we don't is because a lot of people are on Facebook, to be quite honest with you. You know, I think there's like 6 million people that have a Facebook account. I think it's more than that. 6 million. Six, I think it's probably it's 600 million. Yeah. You know what? It might be 6 billion. No, nah, there's not, only that's six, just about every person on the planet. On the planet. <laughs> and it's probably 600 million yeah, internationally. It, it, I, think it, I think it is about 600 billion. Uh, 600 and the million. population in New Jersey is about 9 million. So All right. So it's probably 600 million worldwide, I would bet. Six billion people. <laughs> wow. I think there's like 7.2 billion on the planet. Mm. That means we're being seen in Africa somewhere in a hut. Okay. <laughs> More than 1 billion people are active on Facebook. Right. More than 100 million people use Instagram every month. That's pretty, you know. So anyhow. Yeah. There's 1 billion people using Facebook. Mm-hmm. You know how many people go to our Brand X podcast website? Half a million. Me, whenever I post an episode. Mm-hmm. Nobody goes to the Brand X. I could put, I could embed this. Oh, our aforementioned new listener is because she liked the original logo that you made. Oh, the beer and uh, 
Well, no, it just says because we just threw something out, but just the blue background. Oh, yeah, that's right. I did see that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did that when we first started. So yes. then I text, I, I took a picture of the new logo and I said, here, this is this is the new one. Because <laughs> I looked at it, I was like, whoo, that's primitive. It is. <laughs> new, unless we didn't know. <laughs> so, we, you know, I stream it on Facebook. And the, to be honest with you, the reason we started doing that was because people our age – you know, a lot of them aren't into podcasts and stuff like that. So we figured that maybe they would see us live on Facebook or watch the video or something like that, get into it, and then mm-hmm. maybe start listening to the podcast. Because, unfortunately, everything I do, every mistake I make, every, every mistake uh, every, every, make, <laughs> every shitting thing I do, they'll be watching me. <laughs> so, but what happens is in the episode after I clean it up and do it, it's, it's a lot better. More, It's more better. I think Facebook is... Um... It's a visual, so we're visually motivated, right. and I think people we like that. We are visual. I, we're, to be honest with you, if I could get rid of that website, I would get rid. It doesn't do anything. I mean, it's just the only thing it does is it it's there and it plays the. Mm-hmm. Well, you can well, click you, on the picture you, you, and it'll play the yeah, episode, right? And you can okay if you miss it, you can get it. You know, well, yeah, but you can do like it right now. No, I'm talking about not the Facebook page. Oh, I'm talking about the website. The website. Oh, hardly oh, oh, gotcha. anybody goes to their website. Mm-hmm. If I could get rid of the website, I would get rid of the website. I almost, where we host our podcast, mm-hmm. we host it on a, a service called Lipson. They have a web page, and I actually went in there and made it look like our web page, and I can take and use that as our web page. Why do we need a web page if we can get away with it? Well, what happens? I mean, what I'm asking is if what would happen if you if we did get rid of it? Well, I'm just thinking that if I get rid of it. Then what happens later oh, on down the road? Oh, a Google search. You, you, well, yeah, yeah, not only that, but right. what happens later down on down the road? Let's say this show gets bigger. Mm-hmm. And then maybe, like, I could right now, instead of using Facebook and going live on Facebook, we could go live on YouTube. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I could take and embed the YouTube video right into yeah. the web page. Yeah, you're thinking ahead. So yeah, then, in fact, that was just suggested by a friend of ours. Right. So you could embed Who, who the, did it? Who said that? <laughs> Basha Brown joins us tonight. Hey, what's up, Basha? The lovely Basha Brown. What are you talking about? <laughs> so anyhow, you could take and embed the the video, the live video, right into the website. And I thought maybe, you know, I have it now. So mm-hmm. why not? Why, why get rid of it? Mm-hmm. And there's other things that I can use. I can put a speak pipe on there so people could call in and leave a message, mm-hmm. which I'm thinking about. There's a couple things I'm thinking about doing in the future where... You know, right now we're starting to get an audience through Facebook. I mean, we got Brian, Basha, you know, your friends are hanging in here too. We've got other friends. People are listening, people from overseas. I mean, we're getting a big following because of Ped and Meller, you know, shouting out our show and stuff like that. We're getting a lot of listeners over in the UK, which I really appreciate them for doing that. So as we try to build this audience right here, maybe later on we could use the website for something other than other than just, you know, hosting the stuff. Mm-hmm. So, but we, you know, there's no sense in putting stuff there now for no reason. Okay. So I got to tell you something. You guys are going to crack that. You're going to love this. There is an app on your phone you can get. It's called Anchor. Okay. Is it a picture of my old condo in Cherry Hill? (laughs) (laughs) It could be. (laughs) So, uh, does it look like Denise? No. So what I'm saying is that when you get this app, you can actually use this app and for free, absolutely free, you can make a podcast and they will send it to Apple, iTunes on Apple, mm-hmm. and they'll they'll make up an RSS feed for you and you can have a podcast. And it costs you nothing. You can podcast on your phone. I had it where I hooked the phone into my mixer and I was using sound effects. And then you could also do a whole edited show and then upload it to Anchor. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then they would make this. The only problem is... That in the very beginning and at the very end, they say, this podcast is made on the app Anchor. They advertise. Yeah. On the front and on the end. But for absolutely free. Yeah, it ain't too bad. You can go in there and do it. So you know me. I like to mess around with technology. So I said, let me try it. So I made up a podcast. And it is on Apple right now. <laughs> I was thinking about using Techno Bully. I was thinking about using Techno Bully. But I made, ready? The Grumpy Podcaster. So if you go to iTunes right now. I knew now, that was you. <laughs> who, who, I never said it wasn't. Yeah. So somehow I always knew that that was you. Well, of course. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I didn't think that I figured that everybody saw that would know it was me. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I made the Grumpy Podcaster. Oh, 
because I went on my Twitter and said, who is this guy? Yeah. Well, didn't you well, listen no, to Well, no, even before that. Oh, okay. <sighs> so if you listen. Now pulling the wool over my eyes. I wasn't, try- I wasn't trying to pull <laughs> the wool. You never mentioned it here to four. <laughs> well, first of all, I wanted to try it out. I didn't and even know we're was- back. <laughs> Hey, we're back. <laughs> Guess that topic's over. <laughs> no, I just wanted to wait long enough to wait. <laughs> Sometimes I was wondering if, like, maybe you got hit in the head and you, like, kind of dozed off for a second and you just kind of come to and you go, we're back. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right. So I started that and it was fun. It's fun to work with. And I'm thinking about doing another one, mm-hmm. but I'm not going to tell anybody and I'm not going to mention my name on it. And I want to see how many people find it or if it gets any kind of a following. So it's just an experiment. Yeah. Just, you know, just don't say, to be honest, no one anybody that, no so one anybody, know it's you. Anybody that hears it don't, will know it's don't, me. Don't say, to be honest with you, 36 times in a podcast. Yeah, Basha Brown, if you are on here, we'll shout you out. <laughs> and we're back. So Paris Hilton. I was going to say, so are we done with uh, Paris Hilton? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying, I don't know if she would ever became... No, Princess Diana. Nah, 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 no, nah, I don't know where she pulled that out right. of her. She pulled that out of her ass. And she mean, had a lot more going against her than just that I mean, when, not only that, you think about what Princess Diana did. I mean, she, she was involved in a lot of charitable programs. Uh, I know one of her big causes was um, the uh, underground mines and minefields right in, in yeah. countries where they, that stuff with people are just getting blown up to bits and everything yeah, i know they're walking um, down to get some water and she did a lot of other charitable work um i was when when, when she first got married i was in love with her I oh, she's like, gorgeous she was beautiful Even, now there was a short-haired woman there you go again high she, cheekbones and mm-hmm. she didn't have a long neck mm-hmm. yeah. uncle bob called her a sneak <laughs> why was she a sneak <laughs> because every picture you would see her she was like yeah. Oh, she's like she was never really like. <laughs> yeah, she's a big sneak. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't know if I, if I told this story already, stop me. But I was in Facebook and I was looking at something. It was a friend of mine and they said something that once they seen it, they can't unsee it. Mm-hmm. And Emily Prokop said, yeah, just like, and she put the picture of Shannon Doherty. <laughs> <laughs> now that I see that one eye's higher than hers, I can't unsee it. I heard it on a podcast and I'm immediately like, what are we over here? Like a <laughs> podcast? Just a podcast? You can't mention us by name? So immediately I typed under there, what podcast? So she, then, she, yeah, she finally owned up to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I listen. <laughs> You're right. You can't unsee it. Yeah. I never noticed that before. Yeah, I amazing. noticed that immediately. Like the first episode, like, huh. <laughs> what did she get her head caught in a McCormick Reaper? I mean, what the hell happened here? <laughs> She's got one high, one eye higher than yeah, the other. I was just going to say something that no one would understand. But if anybody likes sci-fi movies, there's a movie called Tarantula, and at the end, the, the doctor. Oh uh, yeah, a, <laughs> yeah, you ever seen that? <laughs> what happens? The end of the, the, the mad scientist who kind of creates this giant tarantula, he gets infected too. By the end of it, his head is all screwed up, and his eyes. And his eyes, eyes like, one eye is way up high, way up like a good four inches. <laughs> He's got the Shannon Doherty disease. <laughs> yeah. How about that? It's making me see, think he's it French. I got it. I got yeah, you. Well, he got it. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't see the move. <laughs> so a phone up on your French. <laughs> right. So back to Paris. Yeah. I think she's fine. She's making ton of bank. Mm-hmm. You know, hundred thousand dollars to go. She's to going to inherit that whole chain yeah. of hotels. Well, she's yeah. straight. She's straightened out. She mellowed out now. She's not she, doing yeah, you don't all the see crazy her doing shit. All, yeah, you don't see her doing all that crazy Kardashian shit yeah, on yeah, social yeah. media. She's, you know, I think what happened was. The mother and father Hilton's like, listen, you. No, <laughs> she she went to the, she went to jail. Remember when she went to jail? Yeah. Straighten her ass right out. I don't remember what she go to jail for. For being a, a bitch, a uh, cunt. Yeah, I for, didn't know they yeah. could put you in jail for being a cunt. No, I think, well, it wasn't a drunk driving offense. She was or drunk something. driving, and she uh, she also hit a car. Yeah, and mm-hmm. left the scene, and, and then she didn't the report. She broke probate. It was a whole. Are, yeah, are you well, talking about her? Or are you talking no, about? No, it was Paris Hilton, and what happened was Lindsay Lohan. No, Paris Hilton. Now, Lindsay Lohan did that, too. She okay. did it, too. But Paris Hilton, uh, she actually skipped court thinking, I don't have to go for this. And then because I'm a Hilton. they brought her in. And then when they brought her in, uh, the I judge- I swear you're talking about Lindsay Lohan because it's the no. same exact thing. John, get on. I'm good going in good. now. I, I, you, I guys, you guys argue among and all. Uh, no, the I'm judge let her walk. Well, then a, a, a county ju- or a higher judge, a higher court said, 
no, you can't let her walk. Bring her back in. So they went right back out. She was, after she left jail, she started having a big get out of jail party. She was getting a big house party, going to the house. The cops show up again and take her away. Call her back in. And she had to go to jail for like 30 days or whatever it was. And she came out. Yeah, and- it was 10 years ago. She um, arrived at the Metropolitan Metropolitan Courthouse for a probation violation hearing. Uh, judge sentenced Paris Hilton to 45 days in county jail Friday for violating her probation, putting the brakes on the hotel heiress's famous high life. Hilton, who parlayed her name in relentless parting into worldwide notoriety, must go to jail on June the 5th, and she will not be allowed any work release, furloughs, use of an alternative jail, or electronic monitoring in lieu of jail. I'm very sorry, and from now on, I'm going to pay complete attention to everything. I'm sorry I did not do it on purpose and and all. Wow, she's a grammar queen. (laughs) Man, that was tough to read. She was then ordered to report to women's jail in suburban... Linwood on the set date are faced 90 days behind bars. The judge's ruling excluded her from paying to serve time in jail of her choice, as some are allowed. As a city prosecutor said in closing arguments, Hilton deserved jail time. Her mother, Kathy, laughed when the judge ruled. Kathy Hilton then blurted out, may I have your autograph? To who? The to judge? judge. Wow. I, that's, she, uh, she, that's ballsy. Yeah. Wow. Listen. After seeing the video, uh, I know two things about Paris Hilton. She has no gag reflex, and she's very she has poor grammar. Mm-hmm. Who knew? Yeah, who knew? Who knew? Right. Well, you know, when you're going to inherit a hotel fortune, you know, who needs That's grammar? True. I speak good. I speak well. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I speak gooder than that. Free food at the strip club, Woo! which reminds me of that comedy routine Chris Rock did. You Friends never are... eat in the strip club. Yeah. No. yeah. yeah. Why is it like, well, you, you, man, you can't go get a Big Mac before you go to the strip club? <laughs> you got to eat that shitty freak. It's shitty strip food, chicken fingers. Nasty. And... <laughs> and... <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Okay. Now, Can... some some strip clubs have very good food. Well, Delilah's the ups- Den, the yeah. real yeah. upscale oh, ones. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. an excellent uh-huh. steakhouse. Yeah, they have very good food. Sure, other it's, places. That's a gentleman's club, but you don't go there. For like everyone's food. dressed up like the Monopoly man in there, right? <laughs> yeah, gentlemen's <laughs> then, club. and John Top shows hat tails. Yeah, yeah. Then John shows uh, up. <laughs> uh, I, Although you did say that at my wedding, you're like, oh, we're gonna wear tails. We're all gonna look like penguins. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> we did. Did I have to wear tails? Yeah. Yeah, we all wore tails. We all probably did look like a Do you remember the cumberbund flew off you and all that? I broke the fucking cumberbund. Yeah. I went to put it on my waist and the buckle snapped. The thing shot off. (laughs) I had to tie it around my waist. And my mom had a shitload of uh, safety pins, luckily, handily. Right. There was a couple of those here. We all whipped out the shotgun. You're not going to shoot them in the house. The the fact that that your wedding day was a disaster from the time I got up. Wow, thanks, John. Oh Shall for I... oh for you yes for <laughs> yes it's and all about that. and for Genghis and we're back. and Genghis, Genghis. Yeah. Yeah, all right let right. me just tell you the story all right, now why don't we hold that till next week because next week's my uh, anniversary okay that's yeah. good that's yeah. good we'll yeah. hold it till next week yeah. and we're taping on Thursday and we're back just to let you know and we're back <laughs> that's the name of this episode <laughs> and we're back <laughs> taint. Buffet at Jackson Strip Club blamed after a severe diarrhea incident on stage. <laughs> a popular strip club in Jackson has been closed until further notice after several dancers contracted diarrhea last Friday night. The cause of the incident, which remains under investigation, has been initially linked to a contaminated buffet at the venue. While the investigation continues, the venue has not been named. According to reports by local media, the strip club was nearly full on Friday night, just like their colons, when the incident occurred and both staff and customers were reported to have eaten from the free buffet, which included the usual selection of ribs, chicken, and deep-fried shrimp. While the results of the lab analysis are yet to come back, one source familiar with the investigation told reporters that bad shrimp was the most likely cause of the diarrhea. Shrimps? Oh, yeah. Shrimps? Typically, shrimp are involved in cases like this, particularly when they are not cleaned thoroughly. Ladies and gentlemen, coming to the stage, Destiny. (laughs) Patrons at the venue who were sitting near the stage were the most directly affected by the incident. (laughs) Which occurred close to 11 p.m. I like how they got it like it's a murder, like they knew what time it occurred. <laughs> Whoa, yeah. Yeah. I'm hit! I'm hit! 
According to a witness at the venue, three dancers were, perform- were performing on separate poles when the first sign of trouble emerged. <laughs> At first, I picked up a bad smell. I thought maybe the guy next to me had farted, said the witness, <laughs> who declined to be named. However, the smell got worse, and I noticed that a lot of the other guys were looking around to see what it was. What? It was at that point that the first dancer to suffer from diarrhea was unable to control her bowels any longer, and a stream of brown liquid soon gushed over the stage, splashing on lookers, according to the witnesses. It was absolutely disgusting, he told journalists. A number of guests immediately puked. I personally ran for the exit. <laughs> I, I, lo- I lost, I all, lost interest all interest in the, in the show. show. <laughs> the other dancers on stage also suffered from diarrhea soon after and were forced to abandon their performance. Abandoned ship! <laughs> they had a hard time. <laughs> Getting off the stage, said one witness. Yeah, yeah. it's a slippery shit. Yeah, oh, Who shit. stayed to watch the other thing? High heels <laughs> and diarrhea and... don't really mix. Many of the guests who had been enjoying the show and buffet also contracted diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> because nothing put a, puts a damper on that mood. Than a diarrhea. Can you imagine like being in the front row and you're just sitting oh, there looking God. at her and she gets up on the pole and she swings and she does that scissor thing where yeah, whole... and the next thing you know she's like a sprinkler. Yeah. It, you know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where she starts corkscrewing down yeah, the pole. Right, right and out it, like, of the... disperses it all. <laughs> right like out. a firework display. <laughs> like a fire... <laughs> right out of the crack of her thong. Because yeah. it probably went left and right. Yeah. Like a sprinkler. Sure. And, you know, you're in the front row, and you're like, I, I, I have my mouth open. <laughs> talk, talk about a shitty time. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. It's getting her hair. I mean, oh, yeah, I wonder what glitter looks like in, got, in diarrhea. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm hit. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't oh, know. Oh, God. I'll tell you what, there's a night you'll never forget. Yeah. yeah. Suppose you go in there on the sly. You know, like, all right, guys, listen. listen. Don't tell my wife <laughs> that we're going to the strip club. And you walk in coated in diarrhea. You know, how do you explain that? Well, that's when you have to do the old John Candy. Well, we were uh, heading towards the bingo hall. The YMCA, you go to the bingo hall, and well, well one thing led to, to another. Something <laughs> got found up. <laughs> <laughs> Shit happens. Yeah. Oh yeah, in a big way. I I don't know. Yeah. I just I mean, I've seen some stuff happen at strip clubs that would be take the cake, but I mean, you know, that people... would be almost like a shooting. Being at a bar where a shooting <laughs> yeah. occurred. Well, you're going to talk about hazmat yeah. suits and... No, I mean seriously, you'll be able to be like, yeah, I remember that day back in 2017, man. We were sitting in the <laughs> Phil had his back to us, and the next uh, thing you know. Yeah. <laughs> do you think that do you think afterwards they came around for tips? <laughs> oh, if they did, it'd be like All you do is you just take the dollar out, you just yeah. like stick it to her. <laughs> you don't have to roll it up, you just <laughs> Yeah, that raises go, another man. question. You know, a lot a lot of times they got these dollar bills stuck in their thongs, you know. Right. Where did those dollar dollar bills end up? Now you're you know, you'd be at the freaking Wawa. I'm sure they laund- the I'm fuck? sure they laundered money. I'm sure there's stripper ass over every dollar yeah. bill around. <laughs> yeah, money's the filthiest thing in the world. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Sure, it is. Uh, they, Especially dollar bills. <laughs> every every bill that you have in your wallet has traces of cocaine on it. Really? Yep. That's right. Every bill? Every bill. Suppose I go to the bank and I get a brand new... They wow. Well, I mean, every, oh, anything that's been in circulation. Oh, yeah. you know. Here we go. <laughs> I think it's up around 85 There's a guy 90%. I work with. That's the kind of shit he does. Every he does? Bill? You do? Yeah, well, he, I draw yeah, inspiration from him. Oh, okay. Him. That's where I came from. <laughs> so, if, apparently, the place is still shut down. Oh, yeah. They wow. got to get in there and they got to sterilize that. That's no joke. You know, it's. I mean, yeah. Well, because they, it's first of all, the original source was from the food. So now they got to probably go in there, throw all the food that's left in the kitchen out, mm-hmm. sterilize all the cooking 
oh, yeah. apparel, the, yes. the pots, the pans, the stoves, the microwaves, everything's got to be cleaned and sterilized. Not to mention the shitty mess that's on the poles and the stage. <laughs> you know, so yeah, that's going to be a big deal. And then you got to get the Board of Health in there and they got to inspect it. And, um, you know, they're going to probably break their balls. And then you got to do your advertising, you know, now, you know, shit free yeah. environment. Yeah. <laughs> you come home and your wife says, what the hell? <laughs> yeah. What happened? What the hell were you doing? Honey, you're never going to believe this. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they got to make sure that place is clean. You know, because like I don't intend to go through that hell again. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> and we're back. This next story, when I sit there and think about it, it's horrible. Not only is the story funny, but the fact of the, the pictures is amazing. Yeah. Do, do you want to do this? You're talking the SUV? Yes. Okay. I should have a photo of the car. Yeah, I'm we looking got, for the I'm link. I'm looking for the story. Yeah. No? I'm looking for the link. Wait, here it is. Wait. Oh, okay. Oh, you got to go to the site. Uh, I hope this doesn't start pelting. Yeah, okay. yeah, you're going to get the- No, there's, there's no, I'm already. Oh, no, I see. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Orlando, a couple moving a gas grill in an SUV. What the? Say it! Say it! I've got 10,000 <laughs> windows are popping up. You want me to? I, no, I, I got, got it. it. Uh, a couple moving a grass. Grass. A gas, say that one more time. <laughs> a gas grill in an SUV was injured when one of the pair lit a cigarette and an explosion resulted on Sunday. <laughs> Orlando police released photos of the Kia Sorento that showed extensive damage to the SUV when the roof, with the roof blown out and the airbags deployed. <laughs> the windshield was lying on the ground. All the other glass was blown from the vehicle. Police said the vehicle in the SUV, the couple in the SUV, man, I can't read. Oh, it's contagious. Yeah, you fucked me all up. Police said the couple in the SUV sustaining burns, but their injuries were not life-threatening. According to the Orlando Sentinel, the grill was turned on and the propane tank was open and connected. What the fuck? The wife lit a cigarette and the SUV <laughs> exploded, according to police. After the explosion, the vehicle crashed in a pole. I guess they were alarmed. <laughs> so, uh, what then, the fuck was that? Yeah, an explosion Do you don't think like they that. would smell the gas? Yeah. I guess not. Yeah, Apparently not. I mean, that not. gas, the propane has a stink to it. They put the stink in the gas. Do they? Yes. Yeah. Well, I know they, they put, do. I know they put methane in natural gas. Guy probably they thought put he that farted. smell probably in thought there. Her husband farted. So that when because it's odorless. So yeah. if you would, if they didn't have the stink in there, you would have you would have no idea. Mm-hmm. They put the stink in there, so you smell it and say, "What's that? I don't know. Let me light a cigarette. Maybe that'll make me see the smell." Yeah, but for all you know, the guy might have farted. Hey, was that you? Yeah, I farted. Okay. Yeah, here it is. They're in the car. She thinks he farted. <laughs> all right, yeah. so she doesn't want to say anything. Why not? And so she's going to light up a cigarette to get rid of the smell. <laughs> Two guys in an elevator. One farts. Everyone knows who did it. Hey, you know there George was- Carlin. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Love that joke. So basically <laughs> what happens is it's... I want to know why it was connected to the grill. Yeah, Stupid. It, Stupidity. You know, yeah. Now, you know what? It might have been a, like a floor model. They got it for cheaper or whatever. Like a demo and decided to hook it up right then and there? That no, probably was hooked up. Who knows? Pro- I, don't know. I don't think so. That's illegal. I got to tell you. Yeah, but you know, you hey, here's 20 bucks. Can you put this together for us? You know, people No, I mean, thought, with the propane tank hooked up in the store model? That's elite. You can't do that. Well, like, like I just said, maybe they said, you know, they, they got it. They said, hey, listen, maybe, Mark, can you hook this just, up? I don't know how to do it. Maybe, maybe the guy was an idiot. Maybe they were moving it from one place to another. It was their grill. Mm-hmm. They already had it hooked up. They didn't realize the gas maybe was Maybe they on. wanted the grill and drive. I doubt that. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't say that they just bought it anyway. I mean, you know. Yeah, yeah I guess that could be it. So back in around... I mean, it did happen in Florida, after all. Back around 2000 and Freon. Freon? Freon? <laughs> yeah, 2000 and Freon. Back in 2003... <laughs> you almost did it again. Did it again. Say that one more time. Back in 2003, I needed a new grill. So they were on sale at Home Depot. So I take the truck over. I get I get one. I'm like, they go, do you want one in a box or you want one assembled? I said, no, give me the one that's assembled. We go over. I pick it up. I put it in a truck. I lash it down with a bungee cord. To the back of the truck. I put them, those little things, right? So I go, I'm driving back. I'm not even paying attention. I go to make the turn into my development. I guess I was going too fast. <laughs> the bungee cord snaps. The grill tumbles out and hits the ground. And I'm like, as I see it out of the side view mirror, it hits the ground. I go to hit the brakes and it's sliding. As I'm moving, it's sliding along next to me. Pieces are flying off of it. Yeah. And I was like, son of a 
bitch. So I go, I grab the thing. I take it, put it back in the back of the truck. I go back to the house. Uh, so I walk in. I'm sick to my stomach. I'm pissed off. It's my fault. I yeah. didn't tie it down. So the missus says, uh, what happened? I said, I, I didn't tie it down too well. I flipped out of the truck. Why'd you do that? How'd you tie it down? Take it back. Take it back. Oh, <laughs> I wouldn't have the guts to do that. That's exactly what I said. There's no. I said, what am I supposed to say? I'm a, it came like this. <laughs> <laughs> I opened the box and uh... I'm an asshole and I'm going to try to return this. So I said, nope. So I just, I took that. I pushed it right to the trash, mm-hmm. drove right back down the Home Depot. Bought one in a box. I, no. <laughs> I bought one fully assembled. I laid it down uh-huh. in the back of the truck. Look at you. And drove it back. The burned hand teaches best. Yes, it does. <laughs> but there was no gas on it. Yeah. You know, you know, no tank. All right. So I just found this story. And when I say I just found it, I just found it. And this is from July 5th, 2017. A 14 year old boy sneaks away with mom's SUV, buys fireworks with friends. What could go wrong? <laughs> Skyway, Washington. A 14 year old boy took his mother's SUV with friends to buy fireworks on Tuesday. It all went according to plan until someone decided to have a Roman candle fight back home. Mm-hmm. Well, someone left the window down in the SUV, and the result was one big fire and one crispy vehicle. No one was injured. This morning, a 14-year-old boy took his mom's car without knowing, picked up friends, bought fireworks, went home, parked the car in a driveway. Like I said, the window was open. Mm-hmm. Fireworks went in there, lit the car on fire. There is a shell. I mean, it's burnt so bad. That the tires are flat. <laughs> that had to look spectacular. I hoped, why didn't they take video? Mm-hmm. Why didn't they take video? Because they're running around like, what are we going to do? Yeah. What are we going to My it mom. It probably went up instantaneously. going to kill yeah. me. Probably went up instantaneously. Right. But here's the thing. Here's, here's the, the thing. <laughs> yeah. Here's the thing. If that happened to us, we'd have got the shit kicked out of oh. us. What well, do you think happened to this 14-year-old kid? Nothing. 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 No. Don't no. do that. Boys Don't will be bad. boys. Boys will be boys. No, no, no. Boys aren't allowed to be boys. We put them on Ritalin for that. But I guess that's true, too. Could you imagine? Every time I hear that, you... it reminds me of a villain. It's the Ritalin. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Don't do drugs, kids, unless we put you on them. Riddling me this, Batman. Yeah. Exactly. I can't imagine. <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, that had a, yeah, that went in there. Probably the uh, the headliner caught immediately. And then it just engulfed everything. The seats. seats. The carpeting was probably the first thing to go. And they got all those glues and everything. That's all. Oh, know, once, that that, plastic, once that plastic gets hot, that's yeah. it, man. It's well, that new car ball. smell that everyone likes, that's dye and glue and adhesives. <laughs> and like, oh, I love the smell of a new car. Mm, carcinogenic. Maybe not. It's like we were kids, like super elastic bubble plastic. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, super elastic carcinogen plastic. That's why it's not on the market it's like anymore. It was fucking acetone. Yeah, oh, we're geez. just like, oh, this is great. And we're chewing yeah. on it. Like, you know, All oh, high. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Another great product from Whammo. <laughs> All right, well, let's wrap this up. And we're back. And we're back. And we're back. (laughs) We're back. Let's wrap this up. If you like the show and you want to hang out with us, we are also on Radio Vegas Rocks. We are on Monday mornings at 8 a.m. Eastern, 5 a.m. Pacific, and Thursdays, 4 p.m. Eastern and 1 p.m. Pacific. And on the Slings, Flings, and Dingalings Network, you can watch or listen to us. You can't really watch us. You can listen to us over there on... Wednesday nights at 8 p.m. <laughs> when you laugh, I can't cut it out. <laughs> when on Slings, Flings, and Dinglings, we are over there Wednesday night at 8 p.m., so you can check us out over there. And as always, we are on the Hush Your Face Network with a bunch of other shows. I'll tell you what, the Hush Your Face Network is growing. Yep. And uh, a bunch dynamo. of good shows. All right. By the way, f- you are aware that it is Eastern and not Eastern. I am now. <laughs> is that what I was saying? You always say Eastern. Eastern time? Yeah. Eastern? Yeah, my Eastern. Mom, my mom would say My that. mom was an Eastern. She would say Eastern. Yeah. Okay. So you're in good company. There you go. Okay. If you are looking for some other great podcasts to check out with some highly talented individuals, we highly recommend these podcasts. 
Three is comedy with Jason Baba Mindy, part of the Hush Your Face Network. I was listening to them today. They made a, a big announcement. I don't know if you heard it. I did not because I was in the middle of all this other nonsense. That was they going. are going to be doing two shows a week, but they're going to be doing both of them live. Uh, that is cool. They're going to move to Tuesday. And I forgive me if I box this up, bollocks this up, but Tuesday, uh, 4.30 Pacific time. And Friday will res- will stay at the twelve thirty Pacific time. Cool, I like that. I like that idea. So uh, good luck to them. And uh, they always uh, they they put out a great podcast. They sound great, and uh, they have great chemistry. Bad cop, bad cop, with Jerry and Dave. Oh, yeah. by the way, Dave had me lick peanut butter off his <laughs> cock once <laughs> last night <laughs> and the night before. Check them out. Some of the fine, and actually, which is really cool. I'm going to actually meet Jerry tomorrow for breakfast. Yeah, sadly I cannot go. So we're going to. Uh, yeah, I said, uh, listen, get let's get a table because I'm uh, I'm too fat for a booth. <laughs> yeah, those are the lotteries I win. The weekend that I got to work, I, damn it. Right. <laughs> okay, who's right with Doug and Anthony? Part of the Husher Face at- Network. Okay, these guys. These are the two neediest guys. You know, sometimes I don't know what to do with them. You know, I love their show and I love to help them out, but good gracious, are they needy? So we didn't, I think what happened was I was, you know, you know me, something shiny was happening and Mm -hmm. you did, you read Who's Right with Doug and Anthony and I didn't do anything. I didn't say anything about them, didn't say I liked the show. And uh, so the next time on their show. I just said something that reminded me of something else. You know, I I just said, uh, so John was right, referring to John from Brand X podcast. Yeah. I think he might be pissed off at us. Why? Well, for like the last eight weeks or so when they do their podcast shout outs. Uh huh. He usually goes on a one to five minute rant about our show, something about our show. Yeah. This last week, it was just uh, who's right with Doug and Anthony, and then right on to the next thing. That's all he said. Really? <laughs> all right. Did you hear the really? Like, really? <laughs> I, think you're, I think you're looking into that a little too much. Yeah, you're reading between you the think? lines. You <laughs> think? Yeah. Let's continue. Because you're just as needy. <laughs> but it could have been just because our show sucked so bad that that week that he was referring to that he was just being nice by not calling us out on it. No, no, no. I'm not, I'm not going with that. I'm going with he's an asshole. So fuck you, John. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's a dick. Deuce yeah, is cool. That's all I got. See, yeah, Deuce is cool. cool. I like this. I guess. I don't really know him. <laughs> Doesn't really know me. Only met him a couple times, you know. He met me once. I was on a show once. I thought he was supposed to be on the show. He Wait. is, but he's recording right now also. Well, they're recording their That's show now? Me yeah. and you. Really? They got a call in line? Uh, no. No, oh, neither do we. All right, so he wanted to call. How do you think that would have went for him if he would have called in here to tell to tell me that I didn't talk about him in the shout outs? But uh, I was like, I really? Think, I think you... Uh, Does he have a call in line? Like, I will call him and give him a piece of my mind. No, I think it was because I, they've been trying to get me on their show for a couple of weeks. Mm-hmm. And I got this for cock the schedule. And they were recording the same time we were. Re- Usually they record on Sunday. Mm-hmm. But for whatever reason, they were recording Friday the same time we were recording. Well, I know Doug's moving. He's right. moving from where he lives now to North Carolina. Mm-hmm. So he's packing up everything. So that's, it's, that's tough to do. Yeah. So anyhow. That's why I'm cool. Where are they from anyway? They say like from. Uh, why is that why you would understand how? What does that? Well, because they said I was cool. Oh, so. you like that? Okay. Yeah, so. <laughs> so I guess they couldn't get you on the show. So then, oh, yeah, my, my schedule is jacked up. So I get a message from Doug. Can you come on the show right now? Well, you know, when you can't get top banana, you go to you go to the second <laughs> you go to the understudy. <laughs> you go to the understudy. So of course I went on the show. <laughs> you can't help yourself. No, I went on there and look at me. Well, <laughs> I had a bone to pick, so I uh, I let my Views be known. Mm-hmm. So I did about, I don't know, a half an hour to 40 minutes of uh, ranting and raving over there. <laughs> Techno Bully was in full effect. So at the next episode over at uh, Who's Right, check it out. I'm on the show. Oh, okay. We'll, <laughs> also part of the Hush Phase now. Yeah. All right. Now, Doug and Anthony, are we allowed to go on to another podcast? Did we did we give you a good, <laughs> yes. a big enough reach around? Did we juggle the balls? Did we, you know, is that okay now? Okay thought it was you're kind of right. sensitive about this <laughs> the pat and Mello show with matt meller and viva le pedro is also part of the hush your face network our friends from england joe or is it me it's you. you you fucked that damn. up <laughs> damn it <sighs> it's like a clock john see it's yeah. clockwise i didn't want to it's do cl- this one <laughs> well I'll skip bold it. and belligerent with lorne
Was that right? You said it right. Yeah. Hey, yeah. look at it. me. I'm a big boy. Yeah. Josh, Mike, and Luke. Unwritable rant with Juliet Miranda. The Rob and Slim show with Rob and Slim and the soon-to-be departing Slambo and Amanda, part of the Hush Your Face Network. I will be on their show in September, the 8th, See the 6th, you. or the 8th. I forget which one, but it, I, I know they're coming back in August. I, I think, think Labor Day is the 4th. That's Monday. So. Right. So I will be on their show like the first week of – I'll let you know once it gets closer. Mm-hmm. But they asked me to be on the show, and I'm excited about that. I, I like it. Yeah, it's a great show. Mm-hmm. Who's next? Me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shiny. Uh, I'm going to be on the show. Now I'm going to sit here in silence. <laughs> <laughs> Ice in the face with Sarah and Rick. Now, this show here, I love the show. Uh, a friend of mine told me that the show is very negative, and that's why I like it, because I'm drawn to negative things. Mm. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say I disagree, but usually what happens is when I listen to the show, you know, I'll grab something to eat, usually fast food, and I'll go and I'll put the show on, and I swear I'm sitting there and I'm chomping down on what I'm supposed to be eating, and uh, I'm start I'm gonna start I don't know who's ice and who's the face on the show I don't know if Sarah's ice or Sarah's the face or Rick's ice or the face I don't know which one's which so I don't know if it's Ice and the fat shamer, or is it fat shamer and the face? Well, I have no I idea. I certainly hope Sarah isn't the face. That would be, you know. I have no, I have no idea. Well, that but could so, be a compliment because there was a Hollywood back really, in the day she, that they were known as the face because she was very beautiful. Yeah, but it sounds like a mobster thing, you know, like you know, Sarah the face or Rick the face. Or, you know. mm, okay. So anyhow, so I'm, today I'm listening to the show and I'm eating fast food and I hear this. I wish humans would split when they fucking... <laughs> Eat too many cheeseburgers. Gluttons. <laughs> yeah, humans don't split. Gonna fix we... a problem. Just some fucking split open fucking husk of a fat fucking greasy American <laughs> just sitting at the side table of a fucking all you could eat southern fucking buffet. Yeah. Just like, just a like Drinking corn barbecue bread sauce. spilling out of his intestine yeah, hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's doing barbecue <laughs> barbecue sauce shots. There you no, go. human beings don't split. We, the human being, we just keep expanding. Uh, we we're actually, disgusting. We actually defy, well, it's, we're sort of like, uh, like the universe in that way. Ever expanding. It's kind of beautiful if you think about it no. in that way. Uh, we should try it. You don't know yet. No. You don't know yet. So anyhow, I'm sitting there and I'm chomping down on my burrito. Mm-hmm. That's <laughs> why I'm learning. And it came, an, an idea came to me where it would be like this million dollar idea. And basically what it is, it would be an app for your phone. And whenever you were like in a drive through line for fast food, like it would have the location services on. And whenever you got in there, like you were in a drive through line of any kind of fast food store or something like this, it would a, a fat shaming audio would come on and it would be like you'd be in line and all of a sudden you would hear just some fucking split open fucking husk of a fat fucking greasy American just sitting at the side table of a fucking all you could eat southern well, don't you think you would get desensitized buffet? to that after a while? I, I, you know again it would be like different ones like that's that actually was mild I've heard her do Ones where I was almost like I looked at the chicken I was eating. I was like, hmm, "Do I really need the rest of that?" Yeah. <laughs> you know, so I'm thinking maybe. And what the baby chicken hawks like? Chicken, right? Exactly. <laughs> so you're saying like a Sarah app that'll just completely shame you and shame, fat shame you into putting down the mm. cornbread. Well, she didn't just fat shame. She like anatomy shame. She like you know yeah. completely culture shame. She completely shamed I everything. I don't know why like, everybody says the show's so negative. <laughs> I, I'm a big fan. I gotta listen to that. I like the show. Ice in the face. It's one of my favorites. All right. With Aaron Rick. Mm-hmm. Okay, my turn now. Mm-hmm. Horribly awkward. Sean Fuller, part of the Hush Your Face Network. Now that I'm older with Shane and Kenny and John does the next one. <laughs> Thank you, Deuce. <laughs> Toe on the trigger with Daniel and Courtney three thousand, and we also would like to congratulate Daniel. Coming up on 100 episodes. Yes, congratulations. Congratulations. The story behind with Emily Prokop. The Nerd Wells podcast with Eric, Sam, and Chris. Also part of the Hush Your Face Network. The Horrible Gamers with Jesus, Ryan, Eric, and Gunny. Also part of the Hush Your Face Network. Epic Film Guys with Nick and Justin. Everyone has a podcast by Adam and Brian. The Naked Porch podcast with Ray, Danielle, and Chris. 
And then we also, because I haven't written them down yet, because I haven't had a chance, the Hunan podcast with Rocky and does he have, a, have any co-hosts yet? I can't remember. I'm drawing. I mind. haven't listened to the third one yet. Does he have a co-host on that? The first episode he had. Um, Is it bringing in guests? Yeah. Oh, uh, I had um, a couple of the guys from the Tavern. Okay. The, the older podcast, and uh, I'm I'm like so bollocks behind on uh, right on podcasts. Um, but I got a new one that I've been listening to, uh, courtesy of our friends at Three Is Comedy. And, Ooh. Yes, because uh, I know they're big fans, and I just started listening to this one. And if you bear with me, Gareth's Random Ramblings. Uh, they're from the land down under. Oh, yeah. And uh, they, they're, he's a, him and his wife, Bex. And uh, they put on a, a great podcast. I, I've only listened to like three of them in the last couple of days. So mm-hmm. I'm, I'm new to it, but I know that they've been uh, speaking very highly of them for quite a while. Well, he does, the guy does the opening or does the bumper the question for, of the podcast. Exactly. He yes. does the rap for the question of the podcast. Mm-hmm. So, yes, I've heard of him before too. Mm-hmm. And then also the Bro Ron's podcast, which is another show on the Hush Your Face Network. Now, since we're doing. Podcast right. shout outs. Mm-hmm. Doug from Who's Right turned me on to a podcast. And I kind of dig this one. It's called the Pizza Podcast. And basically what happens is the guy is a pizza delivery guy. Is his name Yui Cooper? No. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. <laughs> More French? <laughs> Who's Yui Cooper? Remember the story I told last He's week? The guy about that the guy chased who chased us all over the neighborhood? Jesus. Yeah. Well, okay. That's, that's, well, that's well, we would see him coming, we would start the guy, with the guy. <laughs> Or French. Yeah. <laughs> so anyhow, the guy drives around. Joe got it, yeah. Of course Joe got it. Yeah, Huey Cooper There's drove only two around guys. too. <laughs> Huey Cooper and you two are the only people that get that. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if he like, listens to this podcast? <laughs> would That's what happened to those bastards. <laughs> I know where they are. Oh, yeah. He'd be coming after us. So the pizza podcast, the guy mm-hmm. is a pizza delivery guy, and he just takes his iPhone, and he drives around, and he delivers pizza, and he talks about you know, stories and you know things that are on his mind and everything. And I tell you, I listen to a couple of them, and they're actually, I don't know, I'm sucked in. Here's the problem. There's always a problem. Mm-hmm. The sound quality. No, 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 no. Not at all. No. Okay. I mean, because I'm used to, you mean, because he's, he's doing it. Yeah, he's the doing way it in the car. Yeah, the way he's you, doing it. You know it, he's yeah. doing it in I was going to say, if you, sound this, if you say the sound quality, I was going to hit you. No. <laughs> But the problem is he's on SoundCloud, Mm -hmm. so you can't – you have to listen to him on the SoundCloud app. He needs to go and get his RSS feed into iTunes so you can search iTunes and then be able to download it on your podcast catcher of choice. Mm Mm-hmm. So you don't have to listen to SoundCloud. Besides, SoundCloud's circle in the drain. Anyhow, they could go under at any time. <laughs> I'm not lying. They just laid off 40% of their workforce, mm-hmm. and they fired their CEO, and it's not looking good. So if you – any podcasters out there have any audio on SoundCloud, I would – Now, was he fired the way Mr. Spacely used to fire George Jetson? No, Mr. Slate firing Fred Flintstone. Yeah, well, it was the know. same voice. Yeah. Fuck! <laughs> Whoa, what was that? That's how you get fired from Mr. Spacely. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it starts. <laughs> fired! There we go. I couldn't find I saw I once went by it three times. I couldn't find I couldn't see it. Yeah, I couldn't find yeah, it. Any alphabet helps with that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> Time to go. So anyhow, where were we? Okay, so we did the Bro Rons, the pizza podcast. Mm-hmm. So check it out. It's on SoundCloud. I think I'm going to text this guy and say, hey, listen, if you need a hand getting your audio over to iTunes, I will help you get your RSS feed over there. And then maybe you could. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, look at me helping podcasters for nothing. I'm such a bully. <laughs> that techno bully theme. Brian see, was just see, asking See, about here's it. his passive aggressiveness. He goes, here I am helping podcasters out for nothing. But really, it's like. This is a fucking inconvenience to me, so <laughs> I'm going to get this guy to get his RSS feed. <laughs> that's, that's what it's all about. Okay, you could say that, but the, honestly, <laughs> the truth of the matter is that how many people are going to hear him on SoundCloud? He has no, a you're bigger right chance that. to be able to be picked up if he has his podcast where people can search for it mm-hmm. and, and see it. You know, I kind of like it. I want to help the guy out. Mm-hmm. I'm not being a techno boy. I'm going to, you know, he could go tell me to F myself. Oh, of course. <laughs> Of course. <laughs> no, I mean, so, yeah. 
You have to make another one that says, I am social bully with John. Because he does that too. <laughs> you know what would be, you know what would really work well for him? And he wouldn't, it wouldn't cost him any money. He could, he's a guy that could use that uh, app that's the uh, Anchor app. Mm-hmm. And he could use his phone and do it. Should I pull it up? Should I just do what one of my, uh, should I just bring it up? Sure, go ahead, you self serving son of a bitch. I'm just saying. <laughs> You. How long is this show running? Yeah, we're, we're running. in two hours now, dude. One. Give me a second. One. Time's up. And that concludes this episode. <laughs> Boy. Some of us got to work tomorrow. Oh, that's true. Forget it. Just wing it. That's nah, it's all right. I'm not going to do it. Anyhow, if you want to check it out, just go over to iTunes and search the Grumpy Podcast. It, it, listen, it's only, there's three episodes there. I'm playing with the app. It's there's. It's just about podcasting and some of my thoughts on podcasting. It's really kind of techno bullish in a way, but uh, you can check it out. And, and again, it's just <laughs> <laughs> me using several different styles. That never gets old. It. Know, it, doesn't. it doesn't. I know Super Fan Dave is laughing his ass off right now. <laughs> yeah, Super Fan Dave. Okay. He loves that part. He wants to come on the show. All right, well, bring him in. Yeah. It would have to be on the day that we're off. Okay. He ain't coming here right from work like jackass is. Uh, I got you. <laughs> I can understand that. All right, everybody. Listen, come on back next week for some more jocularity on the Brand X Podcast. Have a good whatever. Good night, everyone. I don't let you guys do that first, and then I'll do the very end. We should have, like, ending credits. Don't we have, like, a music? Like, uh, like maybe, like, a techno bully theme? Like a no. Wolf Have you ever listened to the end of the show? No. no, apparently not. No, yes, I, I do. Have... But, I mean, for Facebook... We could go out oh. like this. <laughs> For our viewers here, you know? <laughs> there we go. All right. <laughs> Holy cow, look at all this. All right. All right, Facebook. Have the uh, good... <laughs> <laughs> False drop. Back in the day at TVK. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Facebook. Hey, listen, I really do appreciate you guys coming in and hanging out with us. You make the show Mo Funner. Mm-hmm. Thanks for hanging out with us, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Will you shut the fuck up so I can end the recording? <laughs> That's it. We're just getting into it.